What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, I want to show you my top three resources for staying up to date when it comes to machine learning, computer science, programming, and everything around it. So let us get right into it. All right, so this is going to be a top three video. However, this is not a ranked list. So I'm going to show you my top three resources for staying up to date for staying informed when it comes to computer science, machine learning, everything around it. But they are in no particular order. So it's not like number one is more important than number three. These are just my top three overall without any order. And the first one I want to show you here, the first resource is called Hacker News. A lot of you guys probably know about it already. It's basically a front page with a bunch of posts by users. So users post links to uh, new projects, to papers, to articles, to whatever, and then people have a discussion about it. So for example, you can see someone here posted a link to Kivi, which is a Python framework that I already made a video about. So you can click on it, you can see what is it that they're pointing to. Okay, let's go into the discussion, we can go to the comments, we can see people talking about this, asking questions, giving more advice, giving criticism. Um, so for example, let's go writing GUI applications on the Raspberry Pi without a desktop environment. In this case, this is an article. People will then have a discussion about this article. And the good thing about Hacker News compared to something like YouTube or compared to something like uh, Reddit or even other social media platforms like Facebook or Instagram or whatever is that people usually here are discussing things on a pretty high level. You don't have so many trolls. You don't have so many people that are trying to be funny. You actually have, for the most part, people that are quite competent in computer science and were quite educated in computer science and mathematics and so on. And the topics are quite versatile. So I really like this platform because people here are having usually discussions on a pretty high level. Uh, sometimes it sounds a bit arrogant, uh, to be honest, what people are uh, saying here. But you can just browse this. And if you don't like the interface, there is a GitHub repository, this one here, Awesome Hacker News, uh, which has links to all sorts of different desktop clients, um, smartphone clients, um, and all sorts of different also websites that present the information in a different way. So for example, I think we have also, uh, where is the web section, we have something like paper HN, which is taking hacker news and showing it like a newspaper. So depending on how you want to view this, you can you can use a different tool, a different page to filter all this, you can also use pages that allow you to search hacker news and so on. But this is basically like Reddit, but with more competent people, I'm not sure if that's the proper way of putting it, but it's more serious. It's less about being funny and less about one liners. It's more about having a serious, um, almost academic discussion, I would say. So that's my first resource. The second one is ironically Reddit. And it's not really any subreddits in particular, I uh, like to look at a couple of different subreddits, I just opened up three here as an example, these are not necessarily my favorite subreddits. But on Reddit, you have certain subreddits, and you can look for information and news about specific uh, niches. So for example, you can go to programming to see stuff about programming, people will po uh, post all sorts of things here. So salary discussions, uh, discussions about companies, discussions about new technologies, discussions about how to learn something. Um, for Python, for example, you will see a lot of Python news and a lot of Python packages and a lot of um, stuff related to Python. And it's not always news, but it's oftentimes news and it's oftentimes stuff that you've maybe not heard about. And for machine learning, the same thing, you have machine learning, uh, news about machine learning, machine learning frameworks, and also some meta discussions. Sometimes it can get also philosophical. It depends on what kind of subreddits you browse. Every subreddit has a slightly different um, topic and theme to it and feeling to it. So in some subreddit, you might have only trolls, then probably that's not a good subreddit. Sometimes you might have a subreddit full of news without even having so many, um, you know, comments or so many, um, other type of content. So it depends on what kind of subreddits you subscribe to. But this is also a resource that I like to use quite a lot, because depending on what you're mainly interested in, you can go into pretty niche subreddits. And you can get a lot of um, interesting information there. And you can also see we have some related subreddits here. So we have computer science, we have web development, we have career questions. Now, this is not going to be a news resource, probably. Uh, but you can play around and you can search for different subreddits that fit what you're interested in. 
And the last resource that I like to use to stay up to date is YouTube, in particular, a channel called Fireship. Now, this is not necessarily an advertisement. This is just the kind of channel uh, or this is the channel particularly that I use to uh, stay up to date and obviously all the other channels I follow now. I don't want to mention all of them here I have my channel open up here uh, symbolically or re to represent all the different YouTube channels that you might follow to learn programming any computer science challenge uh, channel that you follow be it neural nine be it any other channel that covers Python that covers um, machine learning that covers programming in general. Occasionally, you will have videos like on my channel, I oftentimes have videos like what is new in Python three point something. And if you want to have really a programming news channel, I recommend Fireship. This is one that um, posts videos on a regular basis about new stuff happening about scams about uh, new tools about new software about new large language models that outperform the existing ones and so on. So this is really uh, the best resource I know for staying up to date on YouTube, but there are many other channels as well. So to summarize it, my three, my top three resources are Hacker News for a more academic, professional uh, discussion, Reddit for specific niche topics and niche subreddits, and YouTube also to stay up to date in general. While I'm eating, I might watch a video that tells me about new large language models, and then I might go research them. So these are my top three resources. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.